As the wind dies down, the sea picks up. So land falls and water rises. And the brittle shore breaks, much as a sea can break, constantly broken. We are disasters on the edge of our own shores, dreaming and woken. Nothing permanent about us. If sea can break, so can shore and cliff. The thought of the sea is a form of rising, sky over high water. The church with its hymns, the sailors with their shanties, sand with its shifting. In every cadence, the certainty of water, the howling of wind. The tide closing in on the throat, the billowing, the wretched dark cloud. We dream beginnings and endings. Everything moves to its own cadence. The long run is now. The sea constantly rolling into the present. Something in the mind had changed direction. It ran backwards, like the street he had just dreamt. Time meant nothing here. It was space by another name, an air to walk through. Perhaps it was death. Perhaps it was just shadow. But what was unwrapped was too bright for death. Shadow was what it produced. There was the sea, bright as a tin tray in sunlight, dimpled, glittering. And this was the street, with the sea at the far end. This was the clear light. It was the waking everyone wakes to, in light without time, in space, in a universe all dimension, no clock, all sea and no shore. These are interim solutions, he said, just notes on the road to sleep. But sleep had vanished up its own sleeve. No answer there, but street and sea. listening to the weather. Suddenly, words poured out of drains into gardens too drenched to hear them. Trees and bushes were listening to the Ursprach of rising thunder. The lake strained to hear the utterances of light spreading over it. The world was all ears, the fields preparing their notes for a bright future. But when the wind spoke loud and clear to a tumult of rain, the rain heard. And when the field spoke water, and the sky bellowed air, it was meaning. People were measuring the tides, calibrating loss by the yard and mile. There were the data, properly laid out and crunched into neat pie charts. Language was effort. The sky could say what it liked with its dark grammar of gesture and shift. We were at cross purposes and longing for sun.